and we are in line eight. It says, let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. And so that sends us to uh, Psalm 35, 28. That says, and my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. And clearly that's what we need to do. Uh, we pray without ceasing and we need to praise without ceasing as well. Because remember, when the praises go up, the blessings come down. And deliverance is also in the praise. All right, line nine. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me. And those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together saying God has forsaken him, pursue and take him, for there is none to deliver him. Now, this is a uh, part of the prayer for the theme of, uh, of Psalm 71 about prayer for the age. And it's this time right, and this is this part right here, where it says, do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. And usually, uh, it was like when people, when people start getting older, you know, that's when, you know, people start casting them off. You know, like, say, they leave them alone. They don't try to take care of them or anything. And I could say that majority of the people in the United States, they really don't care about their, their senior citizens at all. Now, you have other nations of the world. Uh, they care about their elderly. And they make, they make sure that they're taken care of and stuff like that. But nine times, yes, you know, we have social security and stuff like that but you know some of that i mean that's not enough to take care of a, uh of a pig really you know with some of the, that money that um that they get from social security but anyway and it's not for everybody some people really take care you know of the elderly you know but some people really 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 don't even take care or care about the elderly or even don't even care about, you know, their parents as they get older as well. You know, and that's not, that's not right and that's not fair either. Because why? You know, we're going to get older too and we want somebody to take care of us. Because remember, this, this world is a cycle. Life is a cycle. And remember being that it's a cycle, whatever you sow is what you're going to reap. And if you're not there for somebody today... Nobody's not going to be for you, be there for you tomorrow. Anyway, line nine. So do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. And clearly God is not going to do that. Human beings will, but God is not. For my enemies speak against me. And, and you know, they're old and everything and, and the enemy still putting down on them. For my enemies speak against me and those who lie and wait for my life take counsel together so they're gathering up against um uh the enemies are coming together in a council to try to you know take their life and so that sends us to second samuel 17 verse 1 that says moreover ahithophel and to absalom now let me choose twelve thousand men and i will arise and pursue david tonight all right and so, and that's what Ahithophel was telling Absalom. Absalom uh, was David's son because they wanted to, uh, Absalom to take over David's throne. All right. Excuse me. All right. So now line 11. So it says, saying God has forsaken the helm, pursue and take him for there is none to deliver him. So, uh, so this is what they're saying, saying God has forsaken him, pursuing and take him, for there is none to deliver him. So they're coming together. Remember, they said that, in, he said that in line 10, they're coming together. And this is what they're saying when they're coming together. Well, God has forsaken him because they probably see him going through some things and they think God has forsaken him. Uh, pursue and, ta and, and uh, take him, for there is none to deliver him. And if God doesn't deliver us, then we're not going to have anyone else to deliver us. We have no hope. 
All right, line 12. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, make haste to help me. Let them be confounded and consumed who are adversaries of my life. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek my hurt. All right, and so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and pause here. And then we'll pick it up in the um, next stanza and elaborate on lines 12 and 13. Well, we'll pick it up in the next segment and elaborate on lines 12 and 13.